And welcome back here on the campus of Harvard University. A reminder to all our Ivy League fans out there, remember you can watch the Ivy League across a variety of ESPN platforms, including desktop, mobile, and tablet, as well as Apple TV and Roku. Take advantage of everything the Ancient Eight has to offer, including over a thousand live events and on-demand content across all nine channels with your ESPN Plus subscription. Thank you for tuning in here to Women's Rugby in the Crimson Sevens. I'm Elias Gonzalez, alongside Anthony Perpera. And now we have Northeastern with it as they take on Army 2 here in the final contest of the round robin before the round robin final. Yeah, Northeastern's been really working the ball well in these early phases right off the kickoff. They spread it side to side already and really holding on the ball and stringing together a few phases. They're up to five phases now. And coming up next, we will have the plate semifinal, the fifth place versus eighth place matchup. So starting to get into our finals matchup, says it'll be Northeastern that's going to get the try here. And an easy one for Maya Raghavan. Mix it up, caught him off guard, and took the gap. Now Northeastern with the conversion attempt, and it's wide to keep it at five to nothing. The six seven. Before we, of course, have the round robin final. West Point letting that kickoff drop. Still maintaining possession here, though. Bringing it into the breakdown, looking to create a quick ball, and looking at that space right there between the second and third defender, hoping to exploit it. Now working it upfield, here are the Army Black Knights. Great bend there to get around the corner. And now quickly working up is the freshman, Lauren Usby. She got knocked down there. Great contact. Northeastern's a little fractured coming back. If West Point can find this outside carrier, they might be able to convert the try here. And they do. Terrific move by Mia Mazikowski. And she walks in for the try. favor of the Black Knights and once again this is an army team that so deep you saw their team that their A team have a tough loss to Dartmouth however again this is a team that just every year refuels with more and more talent yeah absolutely wow uh, mistaken kick there Northeastern's heading the other direction the Huskies looking for the try and has the line out right now. Hopefully they can convert and get them clear and get out of their zone. Excellent execution on the line out, but sent it a little bit wide. It looked like it got deflected, so get a restart here for Army. Yeah, it's important to be very disciplined in this area of the pitch. You don't want to give away an easy conversion out, an easy set piece that now West Point's probably going to be looking to clear and exit out of their zone. They need to be very, very accurate with the ball handling. There's a very small margin of error here. Especially with Northeastern being as explosive as they are. They've had a couple of opportunities. The key is, are they going to be able to convert those chances here later on? Yeah, absolutely. They don't want to give Northeastern the ball. They're really stringing the phases well together. And, and really, you know, find some opportunities that, you know, other teams may have not found against West Point. Now... Army has it. 
looking to work over on the near side. Now they switch it. Trying to go back over on the far side. A couple of good passes, but now it's knocked away. Yeah, unfortunate error right there. She, she went for the intercept, but, you know, came out unlucky on that. It's going to be a West Point scrum here. You know, judging by that last lineup, their set pieces really come together well. It's going to be interesting to see what they do from this attacking platform. Very few miscues and not going to have one here as they've got plenty of space on the near side. Oh, wow. Look at all that space she has to work with. Mazikowski again outrunning the Huskies into the try zone. Wow, that was really impressive. And he is amazing and Bill, clearly it shows right on the pitch bill Clark in his fifth season how about this record 21 and one and one as the sevens coach since the spring of 2014. yeah it's amazing what he has going on down there uh you know the players love playing for him and he loves coaching them it is an amazing amazing program that bill has it's the national team and all the things that he's done for the sport but you know, for you, you see the sport continue to grow. That's something in an area where you see guys like him just continue to grow the sport. It's got to be something for you that you try to, to mirror as well. Yeah, absolutely. You know, since I started playing the game, I've always tried to inspire the next generation. And uh, that's why I'm so excited to kind of return back home here to New England Free Jacks, you know, leading San Diego Legion. Um, when Alex Malcolm, the CEO of the New England Free Jacks, reached out to me, I saw this as an amazing opportunity to come back home you know, really, really inspire the next generation and help grow, you know, rugby at the grassroots level here in Massachusetts. And, you know, the Free Jacks are, you know, are supportive of that dream and they, they share the dream with me, which is so exciting to be a part of this organization that has, you know, the same, has the same vision and focus uh, together, you know. And now it's Northeastern with an opportunity to try and there they go. Isabel Haber right in between the goalposts, and that will give a try to Northeastern. Yeah, to put a, that on the board. What a way to kind of, you know, pop. Takes off right down between the posts for an easy convertible try. The try and conversion, and Northeastern. Hey. that the good weather is on its way as well but uh, you know for for you and and having been a part of the college level and now being a part of the professional level where do you think that the biggest step for college players to get to that next level what's the difference that you've seen in a professional player in a college of the things around you that is really what separates a lot of the great uh great like professional level players from collegiate players so now it'll be northeastern to kick it off and again so many of these talented players will 
move on to the high level of the national team and getting to play in some World Cups and different things like that. And of course, as we talked about earlier, this league has been a feeder to that program. And right now we're seeing Army with a great chance. And how about the pass there? Terrific look. And that's going to give Shelby Rochford plenty of realist. That was exciting. And now it is 15-12, and the attempt is good. So that will make it a five-point advantage for Army. But again, we, we talk about execution, and that's one thing that you look at a program like an Army, a Harvard, a Dartmouth, you can't stress enough about these top-tier programs, Quinnipiac you can throw in there, about how well they And on the flip side, for uh, for Army, not the way they wanted to play against Dartmouth, but against some of those other teams, you don't see many of those miscues. No, that, it's so important to play mistake-free rugby like that right there. You know, that's a turnover. You know, you don't want to be given that ball over. It, in sevens especially, it's such a small amount of time that every possession is crucial. And trying to convert to points or at least stop the other team, stop your opponents from turning that into points. And trying to find a way to stay out of that really two try hole. Out of these teams, you get down by that 10 point margin, that can really be the killer. As now, it's Army just trying to secure possession here. Yeah, they had a great line out right there, nice little movement. Hooker came around and made that first initial pass. They're trying to create quick ball, but right now Northeastern is causing a ruckus there in the breakdowns and created the turnover there. It looks like it's going to be probably well on its way. Yeah, I hope so. I'm hoping, I'm hoping they're willing to put their hand up and really kind of commit to their women's rugby program. I know the men's team has found some success recently, and it'd be great for kind of that same confidence in the women's team because, as you can see, they can compete at this level. Now just provide them with the resources and think about the opportunities and, and the things that they can achieve. It's just it's, it's awesome. And, again, so many successful programs in this area and, we talk about Harvard and what they can bring to the table. And it's a restart quickly for Northeastern. Oh, a great move. Yeah, great footwork there. And then gets the offload off. Wow. Terrific pass. And Katrina Besky is going to go in for the try. That was all started right there with a great move to create some real estate. And then from there, too easy with the mismatch on the near side. Yeah, that was an impressive rebuttal by Northeastern there. After, you know, giving up that try right after the break to go marching down there. Uh, it was it was really, really fun rugby to watch. Hopefully they can convert this uh, this conversion here to even to take the lead. That one is wide a little bit and Anthony the wind starting to play a factor here yeah. in this one. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I can tell you from first hand experience, kinda being right on the Charles here, there's always a wind. There's always wind ripping, and you gotta anticipate it's gonna be at least 10 degrees cooler than whatever the te whatever your phone says. And Claire and I were just talking about that wind earlier, but also talking about how today you don't have that real 10 degree cooler type of atmosphere. A nice day, the sun out, even with the wind, it's not too cold. Lots of people outside and short sleeves, still some jackets on, but and it has been a Perfect day thus far for women's rugby here at the Crimson Sevens. Yeah, I think everyone's really grateful for that opportunity yeah. finally. I feel like uh, it's been a very long winter for uh, for the rugby community here in the Northeast. Especially after a gloomy, rainy day yesterday, getting a chance now have some sun out. And spring is, is here, apparently. How exciting. Normally spring in New England has about seven inches of snow left, but... This year looks like we may have avoided that. Mm -hmm. Northeastern now with it. Great turnover by Northeastern. 
and they shifted the ball through the hands quickly, found the space outside, and it looks like she's gonna break through for this drive. A try is up and coming, and the Northeastern Hus... down and then all of a sudden it squirts out and Northeastern like like seasoned veterans pass that ball through the hands got it into the open space and you know then convert another try in the last minute and a half which is a crucial time so 22 17 with a minute and 10 in army and Northeastern and now army looking for their attack Good job right. to clear there. Yeah, Northeastern has two people on the weak side. Uh, West Point might be able to expose this overlap here. Great job to try and rip that one away. Northeastern's really counter-rucking and putting a lot of bodies in the breakdown. If you're if you're committing more people to the breakdown, there's going to be more space available. If West Point can find that, they're going to be looking at another try here. Now that one dropped off near side. Maskowski can't get there, and good job by Northeastern, but yeah. instead just hanging on a little too long. Yeah, that's an easy penalty to call. You can't just collapse on the other side of the ball. You have to be on your feet when you're trying to make a play on it. But look at that. Comes, it ends up working out well for him there, and once again, they're spreading it through the hands, and they're finding the wing, and they're finding the space. That's going to be a high tackle here, and we'll have a... That, that defender is leaving vacant, but they're going to kick it right out because they have the lead. 